Good morning from Hawaii and welcome to Riding with B. Cray. I am your host B. Cray and what we do here, I ride somewhere today, I'm riding to work at 6.42 a.m. But anyway, we're riding to work today and I want to hop up here and talk about the things that's been hitting the news today. So yesterday, if y'all has been living under a rock, well, let's go back. So earlier in the week, let's go back even further. So in a couple videos ago, I told you when Trump got his third indictment. This is good. Thank you, Starbucks. Um, brand deal. Anyway, when, uh, um, when Trump got his third indictment, I told you there may be an indictment for Georgia in the works. So I think last week they finally said that Trump will be indicted in Georgia, and he was indicted in Georgia. Him and 18 co-conspirators to to include his lawyer, um, the Giuliani dude, um, his his chief of staff, Meadows, like all 18 of them, like some people from Georgia, from his conspiracy in trying to overturn the election. Let me let me give you verbatim what he's uh, charged with. So he is charged with racketeering and conspiracy in his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Bruh, I said I told y'all that he was going to get that he was going to get um, he was going to get charged in Georgia. So yesterday he turned himself in, and yes, finally, out of four indictments, we finally got a mugshot. He took a mugshot yesterday, but from talking to a lot of uh, like not talking to. But watching a lot of the news outlets and you know they have their little lawyers and whatnot up there they're saying that this is probably the most serious one out of all of them so will trump spend time in jail probably not but let me know in the comments do you think a he should spend time in jail b that a lot of these states are overreaching and they're just doing it for uh for show let me know your opinion down in the comments. Also, this dude has also changed his lawyer out. So I guess he needed a lawyer in, uh, in Georgia. So he changed his lawyer out to some dude named Stephen H. Shadow, Shado. And they say he's a veteran defense attorney who handled a lot of uh, high profile cases, just to name one or two people. He, um, he was a lawyer for Usher for a while. He was also a lawyer for T.I. When they was going through all their stuff. So Trump may have a good team. But the problem is, is this lawyer going to get him off? And I'm thinking like, no. Because if I'm not mistaken, in Georgia, all he got to do is be charged with one thing. And then he could face some, um, some jail time too. Then it makes you wonder like, what will it be like for a former, a former president to be in jail? Do we have, we need, will Secret Service continue to be with him in jail? Probably so. But how embarrassing is this? Like, how embarrassing is this? Like, you have a former president who did halfway decent in the White House, right? And the reason why I say he did halfway decent, I'm not going to sit here and dog this man. He did some decent things in the White House. The problem is he just couldn't keep his mouth shut and stop talking trash about people to get credit for the good things he did do. But he did some decent things. But at the same time, now you're racking up four indictments in three different states. It's utterly ridiculous. Like, it is an embarrassment. And I know countries are, you know, because countries look at what America, what America do. We, we know that already. Countries look at what America do. And most of the time they try to, they try to mimic or, you know, um, mimic what they see in America when it comes to our justice system, when it comes to our political system, when it comes to what comes to the laws and whatnot as well. A lot of countries see that because we're such a strong country. What do you think these countries are saying that we have a president, well, a former president who's trying to run for president again, who keep just racking up indictments, racking up indictments, racking up indictments. It's, it's just... It's, it's, just, it's ridiculous, man. It's, it's, it's embarrassing and it is truly ridiculous. Then to add more, then to add more, um, 
more fire to it, the district, the I think the state's attorney in Georgia is now getting investigated by, um, you know, they get investigated by Congress on why she why she sunk these charges. Like, like Congress, don't pick on her because she's doing her job. She's there to do her job. They're only saying that because she is a Democrat, and they like this is all election, um, election Mandarin. Like you're digging into elections and election fraud, and and you're trying to rig the next election and all that. <clears throat> but you, but no one is above the law. No one is above the law. Whether you are a former president or not, you're not above the law. And if and if she and if she thinks fit. That, that you need to go before a judge and be charged with something, that is her job. You can't you can't come down to the Georgia and then be be on the phone with your little with your little Republican buddies talking about some, I just need uh one thousand eleven thousand and four hundred and some some votes. I need you to find them somewhere. You can't do that. You lost your loss. This is point blank period. So it is what it is. I, I got a feeling Trump is gonna be found guilty somewhere. And one of them four charges. Out of the four indictments he has in these three different states, I got a feeling he's going to be guilty somewhere. One of these states, he's going to be found guilty. And if he's found guilty in all four indictments, ooh, that's going to be some That's going to be some news, man. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you. I'm on my way to work. We got this big old change command today. Uh, the 25th ID command is changing out today. So I got to go stand in the hot sun for that. But anyway, people, continue to pray for me. I pray for you. Um, remember, positive vibes, positive thinking. Enjoy your weekend. And remember, I appreciate and love every last one of you. We are now at 126 subscribers, and that is a lot coming from zero when I first started the station. And I think this is video number 50. Two or 53 if I'm not mistaken but anyway man I'm, I'm not gonna hold y'all up thanks for the love thanks for the support continue to like comment share subscribe and like I always said please share this with people share it with your friends share it with your enemies share it with your co-workers share it with your baby mamas share it with your baby daddies share it with your side chicks or your side dudes and have a great day I'll see y'all in the next one bye <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,